guys, it's one o'clock on Tuesday and I need to start the next vlog and I have had such a busy morning. So this morning I posted the last vlog, which I'll link to, and then I jumped straight into meetings. I've been in meetings. It's uh, like I said, about, well, like 108 now. And this is like my first chance to say hi. My boyfriend's going to make chili for dinner, which I'm so excited for. And the other things I have on my list for today, I need to film at least one video, hopefully two. And I'd also like to do a HIIT workout. I'm going to try to do the HIIT miss um, that MK Fit is doing. I think they're really cute. So that is the game plan. And then I have a few other like smaller chores, but today is just kind of like weirdly busy. So being that it's my lunch break, I'm going to have a quick snack and then put on some makeup and try to film like one video while I have the time right now, and then maybe a late, another one later. But yeah, I ran out of all my pre-filmed content, so I need to get back on it. Oh, you guys, what a day. I did not think my day was going to end up this busy, but it did. But actually it was all good stuff. Um, if you looked at my calendar this morning versus what actually happened, completely different, <laughs> different things, but that's okay. I um, yeah, I'm wrapping up with one of my customers and then I started a like a kickoff with a brand new customer today. So that was kind of exciting and fun. They seem like a great group. So moving and shaking at work, moving and shaking. I just filmed a video that'll go up and then tomorrow or Friday, I really have to get like a couple of things pre-filmed so that I can get, I'm not off track yet, but the video I filmed tonight is the one that'll go up tomorrow morning. So I can't keep doing that every night that's too stressful so yeah I gotta get ahead but um, I just set my boyfriend up upstairs in the desk that I normally sit at all day because he has this like conference board meeting thing tonight for a couple of hours but I got him set up with the light that I film with which is kind of fun <laughs> and get all the settings for him for me I'm going to do a MK fit hit miss workout um i don't know which one yet i gotta go to her page and see what she's posted it's done guys it's done so fun i did the christmas pop hit workout i'll have it linked down below but she does such a good job it like it was 25 minutes it went by so fast it burned but there is modifications it's awesome. I really would recommend checking it out. Now I um, do it in the privacy of my own home with the blind shut. I wouldn't even let my boyfriend watch me. It's like, I'm not very coordinated. I'm not a dancer, but it was fun. So I'm glad I did that. I can check it off my list and I'm just having some water kind of cooling down. I think I will edit my video and then I will eat some chili, but I just have to like calm down first, you know, but I did it. Thank God. Doesn't that look good? Mm. So we both make chili, but we make it very differently. So it's kind of fun that we, you know, each have our own recipe. They're both really good. They're just a little bit different. So I'm going to doctor mine up here and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Oh my gosh. Yum. So I put some sour cream and some shredded cheese on top. It's pretty thick, which is what I prefer when I have chili or soup that's too, like, brothy or too thin I like to add in some crackers to thicken it up but this looks pretty good so I'm gonna try to go without crackers but oh my gosh I can't wait to eat this I am coming to you once again sucked into the couch but it is less cold but still cold about 10 o'clock I'm going to stop scrolling through Instagram and go upstairs wash my face and get into bed I hope you guys have a great day I'll see you in the morning bedtime yeah let's move it good morning happy Wednesday I just finished a get ready with me for this look and I did a blue eyeliner that I think I actually really like let me know what you think um, I'll link that video if you want to check it out but Good morning. It is Wednesday about 9.30 this morning and I've got my coffee. I've got my water. I've got everything going on. I have a decently busy day. Um, I just have like my calendar looks busier than it is because I need to block some time for a couple of projects. Hi friends. I am 
needing a little bit of a break from work. I just had to get away from my desk. I was losing my mind. So I'm going to go to the peel box. I know I have two packages there of two beauty purchases I made. So I will share those when I get back. And then I also finally need to get cash and gas for my car. So we're gonna run those errands. I just needed a brain break. I'm working on um, practicing for the certification that I have to redo. And just like my eyes started to cross <laughs> because I was staring at my notes for too long. So little brain break, little field trip will do good for me, I think. All right, back home, got my gas went to the peel box and only one package was there i double checked the status i must have read it wrong the other package isn't coming until tomorrow thursday so that's okay but i had one there but i'd share a little bit sneak peek of what i got um i placed an alta order and really what i needed was the tree hut shave oil i love this stuff the one that i have in my shower i have literally one use out of i'm like pouring it out into my hand right now. I needed to get this. Target doesn't carry it, or at least mine Target doesn't. So I got the Moroccan Rose scent. This lasts me, the one in my shower I wrote on the back of it, I opened it in February. So it lasts me like 10 months. Um, but in the winter, I don't shave as often as I do in the summer. So, you know, I have a little bit different usage, but happy to have this back in my life. It is awesome. And I picked up a few makeup items. So the first one is a replacement. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I have not used this before, but I like a tinted brow gel like this. In my collection, the one I have is from Essence. It's the Make Me Brow. It's the second tube I've owned. I wanted to try something a little bit different, something new. So I just gave this one a whirl. So this is the shade Taupe. And let's see, yeah, it looks very similar wand-wise to the one I have in the tone and color looks pretty good for my brows so that'll be nice to have okay i also got this covergirl clean fresh blush palette did you guys know they made these on the website on Alta's website there was only like i don't know a handful of reviews so i feel like this is pretty new they had a couple different varieties i got plum blossom and it has three blushes in it but i really wanted like a deeper like this color blush and I like these other two too. They're different. I don't have anything like that in my collection. So I thought this would be fun, but I want to swatch it. So the first shade in here, they don't have individual colors on the back. So I'm just going to call this one, you know, number one, number two, number three. This one has some shimmer to it and the other two look like they're matte. So let's see <clears throat> this is all about. It has a nice mirror. I mean, this is a nice palette. So let's see. They're pretty bright, <clears throat> but I like that. I think this is gonna be awesome to have in my collection. Obviously with a brush, you can share that out more, but it's look pretty good. So this is one, two, three. So if we look in the pan, it's like that. I think it's nice. The other thing I got is a ColourPop Super Shock highlighter. I picked up one of these earlier this year and I really like it. And I've been really wanting a pink toned highlighter. All the highlighters I have are more like golden toned um, or like a champagne gold. And I just wanted something kind of pink. So this is the monster shade and it's supposed to have like a dual chrome flip to it. So it looks white, but it's supposed to have some pinkiness to it. Oh, these are awesome to work with. Just so smooth. Oh yeah. So you can already see in there. So there's a swatch of it up top and hopefully I can get the light there. You can kind of see it. I think that's really pretty. I'm looking forward to giving that a try. That's exactly what I was looking for. It was like a sheer pinky toned highlight. Fun. So that is what I picked up these four items. And then I have another package coming on Thursday, which is my birthday gift to myself. So we will talk about that when it comes in the mail. Okay, I passed my certification. I feel so much better, but uh, yeah, still very stressful. <laughs> Just happy I passed, working on a few things. I've got about a half hour left in my day. It's about four o'clock. So tonight I want to get a workout in. I'm going to do a core and arms workout from the Sweat app and then take a shower 
like a nice hot steaming shower and then it's survivor night so i think uh, my boyfriend is probably gonna go out and hang out with friends while i stay home and binge watch survivor okay out of the shower but look there's a cat at the top of the stairs that's his favorite spot to be and it's so inconvenient because he's kind of close to the same color as the carpet <clears throat> so i've almost stepped on him probably a million times but yeah i did a workout it felt good i kind of laid around for a little bit and then i took a shower i'm out of the shower now it is about 6 30 i need to make some dinner so i'm just gonna have leftover chili and it's survivor night so survivor starts at seven so that is what i will be watching here very shortly I Okay, so minor change of plan. My boyfriend ate the rest of the chili, so I am having grilled cheese and tomato soup. Um, I'm glad I bought extra cans of tomato soup on Monday when I went grocery shopping. So about uh, eight minutes till Survivor, I'm gonna start eating, get everything set up. I stream it on my computer, so I gotta get that going. And then it's time. Survivor was really good tonight. Next week is the finale. Um, so I'm totally going to have to like get snacks or something special to eat for dinner to make that kind of fun. But yeah, very good. Very happy. I got to watch it. And now I need to, um, import the footage from what I filmed today and work on editing that for the channel. I'm going to wrap today's vlogs here. I'm starting to get tired and just kind of ready to unwind. Hi, good morning. <laughs> It's 11, 10 ish. I've been kind of doing a few little chores here and there around the house and also just working. I had some projects I needed to like make some significant progress on. So I did that and I feel good. I'm going to take my lunch break now. I already ate breakfast and I'm not hungry, but I do want to, um, I need to post a video and I also want to like start laundry and kind of get a few chores going. And tonight I'm going to make chicken fajitas. So that should be fun. I will film the process and like the seasonings I use and all the fun cooking stuff, but I'm looking forward to it. It should taste really yummy. I haven't had fajitas in a while, but they are one of my favorite, favorite foods. So that is the plan. I'm still, um, in what I slept in. So I actually need to change out of this because I feel kind of like unmotivated. <laughs> Does anybody else get that way? If I don't change out of the clothes I slept in, I'm like still asleep. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is 1.35. Just wrapped up a meeting. Um, and I did over lunch a little like inventory and like finally put, I had a lot of stuff that I still had to like put away in my closets and I rearranged all of the different like bins of products and stuff. Um, it wasn't like a huge declutter or anything, but just putting things away. So that felt really good. So I think I'm going to slap a little bit of makeup on and try to film a video. I don't know if I'll get to two today. We'll see. I'd really love to, but we'll see. Yeah. I need to just keep chugging away at the house. It's been a busy week, so I haven't gotten all the chores that I want to get done done and vlogmas. So I have to like maintain vlogmas and yeah, getting ahead would be really great. So I think that's what I want to try to focus on this weekend is like Saturday and Sunday, trying to get a couple like rounds of filming in. It really, really would benefit from that. All right. Little update in my day. It is 3.30. I have just finished the last meeting of the blah, 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 blah. I've just finished the last meeting of my day, which feels good. Still have about an hour of work, but I do have a couple of like to-do items I need to get a little bit of a head start on maybe. So going to work on that. And then um, my boyfriend had a heck of an afternoon, had kind of had some unfortunate calls in that like he left very frustrated and irritated. So he was venting to me about it earlier. And I said, why don't you just you just call it a day he has the privilege to do that so he went into town to um have a cocktail see some friends just kind of decompress i'm debating if i still want to make chicken fajitas tonight or if i'd like to make it maybe like tomorrow for lunch or what i don't really know i need to make them at some point this weekend but i'm not sure if i'll make them tonight because i don't know i'm kind of not feeling it so we'll see okay i had to turn my light on because it's so dark. It's uh, 4.45 ish and my package just arrived. 
So this is the birthday gift I'm gifting myself. I actually got a good deal on it. It was like 15% off, I think, maybe 20. I don't remember, but um, yeah, I decided to treat myself. This is my birthday gift. I also got myself a digital journal with like a daily prompt. I can link that down below if you're interested. I struggle with journaling because I don't know what to write about, but I like prompts. So I'm going to try that for the new year, but here's my like physical birthday present. So early birthday to me, I got the Norvina palette. Some of you might not be surprised. I've been kind of secretly wanting this all year. Um, here's my question though. Do we think this is being discontinued? And I only say this because it's been on sale a lot this year. Like it was in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, Black Friday. Like it's a little suspect if you ask me. So anyway, Norvina palette. The ABH packaging is um, so fun. This is the fuzzy kind and I'm sure it'll get absolutely disgusting very quickly, but we can enjoy it for now. <laughs> and pull that out. Here are. The shades, how fun is that? It's actually so stunning in person. I've never actually seen this one in person. I've just seen swatches and people use this. Um, but there's a lot, I mean, I think it gets the like pink and purple vibes across, but there's actually a lot of neutrals in here, which is what I'm all about. So very pleased with it. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Yeah, it was like $27 um, from the ABH website. It's, why am I putting this back in? I'm not gonna keep the box. So that's my exciting news. Um, also, I'm not going to cook dinner tonight. I will cook fajitas over the weekend, so everything um, will be fine. But I think I'm going to run into town and go see what my boyfriend's up to, eat some dinner there, have a cocktail probably. Mm -hmm.